Hello Bitcoin users, this is my first tutorial on a multi-part series of how to use Bitcoin Armory, the wallet. First, you're going to want to go to bitcoinarmory.com slash git hyphen armory. It'll take you to this download page here. You scroll down a little bit until you get to the version 0.88.1 beta for Windows 64 bit. Then you'll download that, and I've already got it downloaded here. So what you're going to do is run it, go ahead and click next, accept the terms, next, install it, check mark launch, launch armory now, and click finish. Now the splash screen is going to come up and then you'll get this license agreement. Of course you're going to accept them. Then you're going to get this first time message here, welcome to armory. Now we haven't made any wallet yet, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our first wallet. You'll, you can name it whatever you want, I'll just leave the name the same, add a description. Let's call it, keep bitcoins here. These two, very important to keep them both checkmarked because um, it's the secure, it, they both affect the security of your wallet and you want that to be as secure as possible. Now here, you have the target compute time and max memory usage. Those aren't as important, but if you're concerned with someone trying to brute force your password, you want to increase this target compute time a little bit more. And this is in milliseconds, so 1,000 milliseconds equals one second. So once you enter in your password, it'll take one second to unlock it, decrypt your wallet. But if you're an attacker, it's going to take one second between each time you try to unlock the wallet, so it will take them a very long time to brute, first, brute force your password. So we'll go ahead and click accept. And this is the important part here. This is where you're going to need to make your passphrase. Make sure it's something that you don't use on websites, so nobody has access to it but you. You want to make this as secure as possible. Here it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to enter some gibberish password. I'll just type the letters in sequence on my, on my keyboard. A S D F G H J K L, and then I'll add a couple numbers, four, five, six. I'll type it again, then click accept. Here's the important part: if you cannot forget this passphrase, especially if you don't keep a paper backup. So we'll just enter it again. Click accept. Then it will create your wallet for you. It might take a couple seconds. Um, while we're waiting, I'll start talking about paper backups. When you create your wallet, it's going to ask you to print your paper backup. Now, your paper backup is incredibly important because this is the only thing that will give you access to your bitcoins, even if you forget your passphrase. So we'll type in the passphrase again here to decrypt the wallet click unlock and here it's gonna give me my paper wallet now this is in a nice format for you to print it off you do not need a QR code reader to use this all you need is this root key and this chain code now I'm not gonna be storing any bit any bitcoins in this wallet so I can show this to you guys but if this were your wallet you don't want to show these to anybody because if they have this root key and this chain code here that's going to give them unrestricted access to your bitcoins so you don't do that and obviously you're going to print it print it I'm not because I won't be using this wallet then what's going to happen next here you see this is the armory user interface it's not that pretty but it works the first thing it's going to have to do is synchronize with the network now I've already synchronized it um, uh, but it's gonna. But if you haven't yet, it's gonna need to download all of the blocks in the blockchain, um, pretty much all over again, just for Armory. So that could take up to a day, depending on your internet speeds. But uh, just keep it running and be patient with it. Then the next thing that it's gonna do, it's gonna scan the transaction history. It's going to use the addresses in your wallet, and it's gonna look through the blockchain and see all your transactions for that addresses, so that it knows what your balance is. Now, that might take a while, so while it's doing that, we'll go over just the basic functions of this, uh, of Armory.
to receive bitcoins, all you have to do is click on receive bitcoins and it will generate a new address for you every time you click receive bitcoins, which is the recommended way to go about it is use a different address for everything so that you can copy it to the clipboard just by clicking this, then it's copied. Or you can create a clickable link, which basically here is going to create a Bitcoin link that you can uh, put in a website or something and if you put this in there and someone clicks on this and they're using a supported client like Armory when they click on that it'll automatically open all this stuff and put it into their send so it'll put that message in their comment and it'll put this address over here into the send and right here is how much bitcoins you'll save or request save one something you can copy that to the clipboard and paste it somewhere so someone can send you bitcoins easily without having to give them a bunch of extra information. Now, if you add a label to this address well, before someone sends it to you, then all transactions that go to that address will automatically show up with this label in your transactions tab, which really helps to organize things. So I'll say, see, I get paid in bitcoins for my job. I'll just type salary here. Click done there now anybody that sends me bitcoins it'll show up in this transactions tab which is grayed out because it's still scanning the transaction history but it will show up there in my transactions tab along with their bitcoin address how much they sent me etc now to send bitcoins it's pretty easy just click on send bitcoins uh, it's still scanning the blockchain so it looks like i'll have to wait for that but um, we can go over wallet properties here is all the basic things. These are the addresses I just created. This one right here, you see? And any addresses that you make with Armory will show up in this wallet. They cannot be deleted unless you delete the entire wallet because Armory generates addresses with a chain code, which means each address that you make is determined by the address that you made before it. So here is where it's just wallet information the encryption kind, uh, the version of Armory. Here you can click this to test the unlock time, which is how long it'll take to unlock your wallet. And that's the memory you'll need to unlock it. Here you can just simple options, like hiding empty, hiding addresses that don't have any Bitcoins in them, hiding change addresses, which are just addresses that you receive. The change from your Bitcoin transactions, usually they're just generated for you or you can hide unused, which they just haven't been used for anything yet, sending or receiving. Here is just the links to sending and receiving bitcoins, it's the same thing. You can change or remove your armory passphrase, which means if you can unencrypt it permanently, or you can just change the password for it. You can change the wallet labels, which right here, this is the wallet label, primary wallet encrypted. Make a paper backup, if you lose your paper backup, you can use your passphrase again and print another one just to be safe. Making a digital backup, um, just like it says in this tooltip here, if um, your wallet is encrypted, which it is, your backup will be encrypted too. So that's just another method of making sure you don't lose your bitcoins. Backing up individual keys, um, this is what you use because uh, if you use imported addresses, say you use a vanity address that someone gave you the private key for, you're going to need to use this to back those up because in the paper backup and the digital backup, it won't include the keys for those imported addresses that you've made. So, that's, so you'll go to backup individual keys here and um, you can back up keys that weren't generated by Armory. Create watching only copy this is for offline wallets, which I'll go over that in a separate video. Delete and remove wallet. Obviously, you don't want to do this unless you don't plan on using this wallet anymore, and you make sure that nobody is going to send you bitcoins to this to any of the addresses in your wallet because you won't be able to get it back. Importing and sweeping private keys. If you have a private key for, say, a Kasaskis physical bitcoin, then you can open this up right here. It'll give you a warning about addresses because they're not in the backup. Um, you can enter the private key that's on the back of your Kasaskius Bitcoin 
or maybe you got a vanity address somewhere. You can enter it here. Now, if you want to import the address to your wallet, that will mean that you will have that address. This is what you want to use if you have a vanity address so that you can keep the address so people can still send it to you. Now, sweeping funds owned by this address into your wallet, what that will do is it will create a transaction from that address to your wallet which means it'll just send all the bitcoins to your wallet. That address won't be in your wallet, and that is how you would re redeem a Kasaskius physical bitcoin. Now, remove imported addresses will get rid of addresses, like vanity addresses that you've put in your wallet, but you can't use it to get rid of your, re yeah, get rid of the addresses that are already in your wallet because of the way that Armory generates addresses. Now this is still has 10 minutes or so left, so I will make another video when this is finished and go over the rest of Armory.